Hello, today we're gonna interview the food engineer Fer. Hi. Hi Fer, can you tell us a bit about the beer? Yes, of course. One of the first records of the beer production dates 5,000 years ago in the valley that lies between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers by the Sumerians. The Sumerians made a beer called Sicaru for their religious ceremonies. This was made from wheat bread and barley that was soaked for several days, then added honey and dates. The Sumerians had more than 20 different types of beer and it was also used as medicine. After the Sumerians, it was the Egyptians who continued with the evolution of beer. They improved the malting process. They produced the beer in large scale in order to feed the troops, replacing the food. After the Egyptians, during the 5th century in the Middle Ages, the production was monopolized by monks. In those times, the hops were not used. Instead, the gruit was used, which was a mixture of berries, rosemary, and myrtle. The monks were the only ones who had the information about the grid. This is why they had a monopoly in the beer production. When hope were discovered at the end of the 12th century, beer seeds to be a product elaborated only by monasteries and abbeys. Thanks to hopes as a preservative, beer ceased to be a seasonal product. Once the monopoly of the church disappeared, beer began to be manufactured on small scales in homes, which began to attract visitors who later became customers and homes in pubs, so families followed their beer tradition. This is how the first commercial breweries came into being in the 14th century. Advances in beer production followed and in 1842, a master brewer from Bohemia managed to make the first crystalline and golden beers. These beers were successful because of the crystal formation and were very different from dark and turbid beers that were made at that time. Beer is different depending on the place of origin. Each region has specific crops, for example, in Germany, wheat, Spain, barley, United States, corn. Formerly, the beer was distributed in wooden barrels, then placed in clay or ceramic bottles. Currently, beer, beer is sold through glass bottles and the beginning they were closed with a cork stopper. However, after a few years, an easier and cheaper idea was implemented, which was the metal stopper. It was in 1933 in the United States where canned beer began to be produced due to the advantages offered as a light package, easy transportation, not fragile, and has a large surface area for the design and advertising of the brand. However, it was not until the early 60s that the easily opened aluminum cans were implemented. There are different types of lager beer that ferments at temperatures between 5 degrees and 9 degrees Celsius. And here, the yeast strains are positioned at the bottom and the Alley type is made from 15 degrees to 25 degrees Celsius, and the strains are located in the surface. Process of elaboration. The process begins by soaking the barley, and when it reaches certain humidity, it's left to germinate. This produces a green malt. Then, the green malt dries in an oven and results the stable ingredient for the production. Then the malt is crushed and mixed with hot water, where the extraction begins and it generates a syrup which is the beer must. The hop is added at high temperatures. It is filtrated and then the fermentation begins when adding the yeast. The conditions determine if it is a high or low fermentation beer. Then the fermentation produces a green beer which is left to mature. Then it is filtrated and then we obtain the commercial beer. The last step is the bottleneck, which can be in a bottle of glass or can, depends on your choice. Thank you for the interview. Yeah. <laughs>